In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has exacerbated educational disparities among the less fortunate, a transformative initiative is on the horizon. The gap in the teaching and learning for the most vulnerable is about to be bridged thanks to a collaboration backed by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank. Approximately 40 teachers and educators will be trained in the use of a toolkit to be developed by the University of the West Indies. Dubbed Effective Pedagogy for Teaching and Learning, the 15-week program is not just about imparting knowledge, but represents a beacon of hope and a catalyst for change. Alongside enhancing teaching skills, participants will also contribute to the development of a robust cybersecurity apparatus. The driving force behind this latest endeavor is the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, with oversight from the Special Education Needs Institutions affiliated with the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training. During the pandemic, many students suffered learning loss and students with special needs are among those who experience the greatest volume of learning loss. The teacher training component of this project will position teachers to prevent such learning loss in the future. Teachers will learn to do better in more effectively teaching through distributed learning and they will also be trained to keep these children with special needs safe while navigating the online space. This latest initiative represents a pivotal intervention by the Ministry of Equity and by extension the Government of St. Lucia. As per our mandate, we are always dedicated to providing needed support to persons in need. This project is not just about education. It is all about breaking barriers, nurturing potential, and ensuring that no one is left behind in the pursuit of knowledge and empowerment. Senior Operations Officer and Social Analyst at CDB's Projects Department, Albert Ellis, said the bank welcomed the opportunity to coordinate cost implementation across the three member borrowing countries of St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and St. Kitts and Nevis as the combined cohort not only enabled cost savings for countries, but supported the cross-pollinization of thought and good practices across the sub-region to improve student learning. The bank looks forward to learning how the course fosters inclusion and supports teachers to better reach and engage the students they serve, especially those who have historically, for multiple reasons, been excluded from the education system. Participants will be awarded a certificate from the University of the West Indies. Certification will be provided through the mechanisms of the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board for Teacher Education, the ECJBTE. Furthermore, the course will be incorporated into the teacher education programs of the ECJBTE and holders of the current qualifications will receive credit in the event they apply to pursue the ECJBTE regulated associate degree in education. The certification will also count towards professional development for teachers who are holders of the associate degree in education or other teacher education qualifications. Participating institutions include the Denry Special Education Center, the V4 Special Education Center, the Vision Center, New Beginnings Transit Home, the Boys Training Center, and the Upton Gardens Girls Center.